Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a cook with me video. I'm really excited for this one. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make um, green enchiladas. Um, however, it's going to be super fast, easy, cheap to make. So um, that's all a plus. This all should take you like 15 minutes to make. Um, I would add some time if you have to cook chicken. Um, but this hack my mom showed me, you're just actually going to use a canned salsa and add some sour cream um, to make the enchilada salsa and you just throw it in the oven with some cheese and it's done. So I'm going to show you guys how to make that now. Okay, so this is everything you're going to need. You're going to need some kind of protein. I just, I'm using this rotisserie chicken from Costco, pre-cooked. You're just going to need a bowl and a whisk, um, some kind of green salsa. This is my favorite brand some sour cream, some kind of cheese, I just use mozzarella, um, and then corn tortillas, if you prefer flour, you can use flour, and then a greased baking dish. Um, you're gonna wanna start by preheating your oven to 350. And while that's preheating, we're gonna go ahead and get the sauce ready um, and our chicken ready. So I just like to start by hand pulling the rotisserie chicken apart. This is just a pre-cooked chicken from Costco. Um, you can season your chicken if you'd like. I don't really feel the need to, um, but you know, you can throw some spices in there. Um, yeah, it's just the easiest way for me to just cook my protein and have it ready for the recipe. Okay, so for your sauce, um, you're going to make sure you have a bowl and a whisk or just a fork will do. Um, and I don't really like to measure. I measure with my heart. What you want to do is just put some sour cream in a bowl. I'm just going to do the rest of this because there's not that much left. I will probably have to get more out of the fridge. And once you have some sour cream in here, this is literally like about a fourth of a cup. It's very, very little bit. You're gonna take some of your sauce and put it in. I'm about to, I'm gonna use like half of this. About like that much. And now, just gonna whisk it. So this is what it's looking like. I'm gonna go ahead and add some more salsa. How much you add is really up to you. I'll probably end up using this entire 16 ounce can um, just because I like my enchilada salsa. Depends how much salsa you really want. You're just gonna want enough salsa to cover your enchiladas. This is just a really convenient, I, I use this sauce for um, you know salsa, but I also use this for cooking. It's very convenient um, instead of having to use you know tomatillos and stuff like that. That's kind of a hack my mom showed me. So for your tortillas, you're actually gonna wanna put them on a skillet. Um, this only applies to corn tortillas. If you're using flour tortillas, you don't have to worry about this step. Um, but you just need to like toast them a little bit um, just so they don't crack about maybe a minute aside. Um, for the number of enchiladas you're gonna want to make. Just do it over and over again. Okay, so while I'm waiting for the other ones to cook, I'm gonna start rolling these out one by one. I'm gonna add cheese and chicken. Again, just to your liking. I don't like to add too much cheese, but you know, if you're a cheese fan, go for it. Just start lining them up. At first it can get a little tricky, they slip a little bit, but. Don't forget that your tortillas are cooking on the stove if you're multitasking. And again, you know, I just like to multitask because usually I'm cooking dinner in a rush because I'm either starving or have something to do.
Okay, so now I'm gonna take my sauce and I'm gonna coat it. Then you're gonna add a layer of cheese as much as you'd like. And then from here, we just put aluminum foil in it and we throw it in the oven at 350 for about 15 to 20 minutes. Well, that's the recipe guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know in the comments if you guys try out this recipe. Let me know how you guys like this cook with me type of video. Um, I thought I would give it a try just because I really do like to cook and I've been wanting to incorporate, you know, some recipes on my channel. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks, bye. <laughs>